when we practice applied behavior analysis, we're looking at two variables. Uh, and, and basically, all human behavior can be uh, dichotomized into two different categories. There are behaviors that occur way, way, way too much, and behaviors that occur way, way, way too little. Um, and we refer to those behaviors that don't occur enough as basically deficits or skill deficits. And that's why we utilize the principle of positive reinforcement, is to take those skill deficits, the, th the good things that people need to be doing more frequently, positive social interactions, the ability to tolerate delay of gratification, the ability to uh, pay attention and focus on a task for a long period of time. Those are what we call skills that are necessary to, to be a fully functional individual in our society. So we utilize these principles, such as positive reinforcement, to take these skill deficits, engineer or modify the environment, and then we insert the positive reinforcement to increase the, the demonstration of those skill deficits. What we find in the research on applied behavior analysis is that the more we reinforce the good stuff, the bad stuff or the stuff that we want to see decrease naturally starts to decrease. And so the whole field has evolved recently uh, over the last two, three decades or so about this idea of not necessarily always addressing the problems, but more so addressing the deficits that individuals have.